हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फार्मर्स एंड आई पोस्ट वीडियोज ऑन फार्मर्स रिलेटेड सब्जेक्ट्स एक्सप्लेन इन अ वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी वे इफ यू फाइंड माई वीडियो यूजफुल फॉर योर स्टडीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑटोमेटिक डिस्पेंसिंग सिस्टम दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक डिस्पेंसिंग ऑफ ड्रग विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन योर कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन इन फार्मसी सब्जेक्ट and here the topics will which will be discussed under automatic dispensing system that is the introduction portion definition advantages and various types of automatic dispensing system so let's move on <clears throat> to the introduction portion so basically uh, why automatic dispensing system has been developed what is the purpose and all that thing so hospital and pharmacies worldwide have increase uh, increasingly embraced automatic prescription dispensing technology as since you all know that uh, that people want everything very fast and automatic dispensing you can see uh, say that it is a type of robotic machines uh, which within which you don't have to read the prescription manually just the like a robot like that it is a automatic cabinet automatic machine where you just have to uh, uh you have to put or enter either you have to just scan your prescription or you can just uh enter the details uh, within that prescription and all the machine uh, sorry all the medications will be dispensed automatically by that machine that is you don't have to search for the medicine in your store in your medication store uh, or you can say that uh, in your prescription uh, sorry in your pharmacy store you don't have to find or search that medicine the medicine will be filled automatically within few seconds so uh, it is a type of robotic system you can say also you can say in this manner also that the machine itself have a cabinet that is all the medications all the medicines various types of medicines are kept within that cabinet and when you enter the detail in that uh, in a system actually that machine has a computer system types like in a atm machine you can see uh, you can say like atm machine it is a machine where uh, in atm similar uh, sorry in atm like the monies are uh, stored in that cabinet like that here medications or medicines are stored in the cabinet and as you can see in atm that there is a system where you enter how much amount you require like that in the cabinet also uh, there is a screen where you can there is a system a screen where you can enter your required or the uh, details in the prescription you can enter uh, what uh, medicines you require that you can detail uh, you can enter and Uh, as per your details or your information, all the machine, uh, the machine will dispense all the medications. So it is a kind of ATM machine. Also, you can say that it contains a cabinet, or you can also say that uh, that is there are various types of actually automatic dispensing machines. Some are like robots. When you enter, it just uh, brings out from the store uh, storage. a uh, storage room the various medicines which have been entered in that machine so it works like a robots like robot arms it collects the medicines and it dispenses you so there are various types of automatic machines actually you can say so basically what it helps is how it helps is that uh, it helps in fast dispensing of the medications so it has been uh, introduced uh, uh, from 1980 actually in us so it has been introduced long back in 1980s first time in us one of the main advantage of such system is that its ability to dispense large volume of medications quickly as i told you that uh, doing anything manually is much much uh, slower than uh, anything which is done in Uh, automatic way that is by machine so a machine can work very fast in comparison to a human so it will help uh, the benefit is that it will help you dispense the medications fastly on uh, numerous medicines very fastly in comparison to a manual dispensing 
so uh, in this way it will help in saving your lots of time in packaging dispensing of medications so uh, also it helps in another way that is it eliminates the chances of human error like that like what i told you all that if you scan your prescription so if you scan your prescription or if at all you enter the details uh, in process of scanning like if for example if your prescription contains some barcode which can be scanned by the machine and by scanning that barcode the machine gets the information within that prescription that what medicines are written in that prescription so if by barcode it scans then it will automatically read all the medications names all the medicine names which is written in that prescription correctly very correctly uh, if at all a human can do error while uh, taking out the medicine while dispensing the medication but a machine will never do it in a wrong process and uh, if you enter the uh, enter the details of the medication in the prescription in the system that is like in atm you put your information like that if you put the information if you put uh, an, uh, wrong information then it will be your fault that is if you have written some uh, wrong spelling of a medication then it is due to your mistake that the machine will dispense uh, any wrong medicine but overall it will eliminate uh, that is 99.9% .9 chances that that it will eliminate any error because if you are doing it in your own that is you are doing manually a pharmacist is manually taking out a medicine he, he or she can uh, by mistakely he or she uh, maybe uh, have taken out a wrong medication but if a machine is doing that work it will never read any medication's name in a wrong way and it will take out the one which you have instructed to the uh, to the machine also uh, such machine systems uh, generally have that advanced technology also that if by mistake you have entered a wrong medication name that is for example if a if uh, the medication's uh, name is a wrong medicine and obviously when you put the detail of the prescription you put the name of the patient uh, what is the disease condition and then you write the medication name so if you have written a wrong or uh, you have entered in the prescription there is correct medication name but while entering in the system the prescriptions medications details if you have written the medications name wrong then the system will alert you that there is some mistake because you have put the details first of all that is the patient is a heart patient xyz is the name and you have entered the medication uh, which is not for a heart patient which is by mistakely you have written a wrong medication you have entered a wrong medication uh, into the system that is you have read as a pharmacist you have read a wrong spelling a wrong name of the medication written in the prescription then the system will uh, so you alert you will give you alert as soon as you enter the wrong name so by that you can correct the medication name again by reading the prescription properly and thus it eliminates the chances of human error so this has elevated uh, elevated patient safety obviously it provides patient safety uh, it helps in uh, saving the time of the patient and also uh, it helps in fast uh, dispensing of the medications uh, no human error and so all so two things which we get that is uh, time saving as well as patient safety so now after uh, that the dispensing machine this automatic dispensing machines key function that is main functions uh, that is main things which it contains is that barcode scanning which i told that there may be some prescriptions where uh, the prescription contains barcode by scanning the barcode the machine automatically uh, gets uh, uh, automatically the informations are uh, stored or received into the machine that which medications are to be dispensed and what is the detail of the prescription so barcode uh, scanning 
system it contains also it scans the uh, prescriptions barcode with the medicines barcode so that it can match that such medicine belongs to such type of patient's prescription so there will be a barcode scanner then medication labeling obviously if you are having scanner system in the machine then will uh, along with the uh, prescription that is there should be a barcode in the prescription along with that there should also be barcode labelings in the medication so that by scanning that barcode the details of the medicines is also received to the machine that is the particular machine uh, sorry the particular medicine is for heart patient or for uh, diabetes patient or for which type of patients which category of patients so that it can match the machine can match the information of the medication with the prescription and thus it can help in eliminating the errors medication errors so there should be proper medication labeling then tracking systems uh, it also contains that is it can track that in which rack the medication is being stored as i told some are, uh, as i told some are like atm machine that is it contains cabinet where the medications are within that cabinet so obviously for that also in which rack of the cabinet in which corner of the cabinet the medication is there that information should be that data should be there in that system so that when you enter the name of the medication it can uh, select that medication from that rack or that corner correctly and can dispense you uh, in case of uh, that robotic arms also robotic machines also the details should be the data detailed data should be there with that robotic machine so that it can select out the medication from that rack it can take out that medication so how it will know like in our mind we know we remember that this medicine is kept in rack a at the first uh, at the uh, rack a at the first column and all so like that you have to enter that details in the robot's mind also that is you have to enter the data so that the robot can take out the correct medication and one more thing is that for that what you have to do is you have to as a human you always have to keep the same medicine at the same rack that is you should not randomly keep any medicine in any of the rack so that because the data is entered in that machine if you have kept the correct medicine with correct labeling and all that that is there is no mistake in labeling of the medicine or uh, misplacing the medicine then it will correctly dispense you the correct medicine then control dispensing and automatic documentation control dispensing means it will obviously help in control dispensing means that how much amount you require that much will be given to you that much will be uh, dispense to you like that if you want any liquid 500 ml then uh, the machine also contains bottle filling system so that it will fill a bottle with only 500 ml and it will dispense you automatically and then automatic uh, documentation that is how much medicines is being dispensed per day each and every time the documentation the records will be automatically stored maintained so it will keep the records of the documentation the number of times you have dispensed a medicine that is the number of times the machine dispenses the medications according to prescription each and every time it will automatically record the documentations so that at the end you don't have to uh, go for manual record maintenance all these features are designed to reduce risk of human errors that is uh, there should be uh, no errors then safe medication dispensing and then handling the administration quickly that is doing the things fast so these are the purposes now talking about the definitions so uh, an automatic dispensing cabinet or you can also say automatic dispensing machine is a computerized drug storage device or a cabinet system that is designed for hospitals this 
ADC that is automated dispensing cabinet allows the medication to be stored dispensing automatically along with that controlling and tracking the drug distribution okay uh, which I already told that is controlling the amount of drug which is dispensed there is no wastage as well as tracking that is keeping the record of how much drug is being distributed within that hospital so you can see this is one of a type of cabinet type of automatic dispensing machine you can see the image where in front you can see the system in that computer that is the monitor you can enter the details of the prescription and by that by that the machine will automatically dispense all the medications which you can see like atm there is uh, one section from where the money comes out like that you can see there is a section from where the drug uh, sorry the medicines actually comes out of the cabinet <clears throat> now the various advantages first of all they can store and manage over 200 medications plus the patient's information so there can be uh, the capacity is to store about more than 200 types of medications and also it can store the information that records of the patients along with the medication history so customers do not have to wait for a longer time to receive medication and the machine can fill a prescription much much faster than a human can which I already told and then this ADM automatic dispensing machine enhances pharmacy workflow and efficiency that is it improves the pharmacy workflow as it uh, work it helps in working in a faster way so for that pharmacy the uh, the popularity you can say uh, becomes more as well as the workflow is very fluently because the records are being maintained automatically as well as the medicines are dispensed automatically and in a faster way in a smooth way so it improves the workflow and the efficiency that is the capacity of dispensing machine uh, sorry the capacity of dispensing medications in a faster way is uh, achieved by that pharmacy uh, which gives this type of automatic dispensing machines now it also reduces the risk of medication errors and provides high safety it reduces the risk of medication error there uh, there is 99.9 uh, .9, you can say elimination of human error uh, by uh, in dispensing the medications as i told why 99.9% .9 why not 100% because there is still a little a very little chances that maybe you have kept wrong medication in any rack or any uh, storage uh, cabinet you have kept the wrong medication that is your mistake not the machines mistake also maybe that you have entered any wrong medication name in that system in the system of automatic dispensing machine so thus there is just a little chance otherwise it will eliminate the human error medication error so it provides a safety now along with that pharmacist get free time to talk to the patients as during the machine is performing its work of dispensing each and every medication a proper labeling then proper packaging of the medication which the pharmacist have to just take from the machine take out from the machine and he just have to hand over to the patient but during that time meanwhile the uh, prescription is being filled by the machine uh, during that time that free time the pharmacist get times to counsel their patients that is meanwhile he or she the pharmacist he or she can uh, tell the uh, interact with the patient tell them about their medications the timing of taking the medications and so on so this uh, helps in building up communication between pharmacist and the patient also it reduces cost and waste uh, how cost and waste there is so, uh, that is it will never provide you uh, wastage uh, give you chance to waste any medications for example uh, without automatic dispensing machine many times a pharmacist will withdraw 3 ml from 10 ml vial for example a patient requires injection of 3 ml just injecting liquid 
it is uh, injection liquid just 3 ml and there is the store vial the storage mean the storage vial is about 10 ml so what will happen that when the pharmacist manually uh, withdraw 3 ml from the 10 ml vial he or she have to discard the rest because it becomes unsterile once you have taken out you have opened the seal of the vial and you have taken out uh, 3 ml from the 10 ml package the rest 7 ml ml goes waste but when you are using this automatic dispensing machine the system is a sterile one the uh, the machine is a sterile one and if the machine withdraws 3 ml it will withdraw it in a sterile environment and thus the rest uh, 7 ml is saved for further use so this is uh these are the uh, advantages next talking about various types of automated dispensing system first of all is pharmacy paste that is where uh, in which which fields you can keep your automated dispensing machine as in the definition i have already mentioned that it is for hospital obviously it is for hospital other than hospital also uh, you can use this machines like in pharmacy based that is just pharmacy outlets in the pharmacy outlets automated dispensing machine can be kept where it will carry out the work of dispensing the medicines as soon as possible as faster as possible uh, as faster than the manual one now ward based the automatic system automatic dispensing system can also be kept in each and every ward in the hospital if a hospital is a very large one there is no time uh, for the uh, for nurses to go to the pharmacy section of the hospital and uh, and bring the medication then there can be automatic dispensing machine or automatic dispensing system uh, system in each and every ward so that in each ward there is sufficient medicine stored uh, which is generally required in that ward in the patient uh, for the patients who are admitted in that ward so that medications will be kept in the ward sorry in that machine and when the time is needed that is when it is required the ward boy or attendant or nurse will take out that medicine uh, and then it will serve sorry he or she the nurse or the ward boy ward girl or a ward pharmacist there can be a ward pharmacist also that is uh, for particular that ward only the pharmacist will be responsible so the ward pharmacist will dispense the medicine which will be given to the patient so that is that that type of machines are ward based or ward type of automatic dispensing machine so generally the uh, the ward uh, the ward based machines generally in that you have to put the name of the patient who is admitted in that ward uh, there can be particular user id and password also for that patient especially in the ward system so that the ward machine only dispenses the machine for that ward patient only not for other ward patients so there can be special user id and password also so that as you enter the user id and password you don't have to put the details of the medicine you just put the patient's name user id and password uh, if it is morning time then the machine will automatically dispense the medicine which is to be taken by the patient in the morning and you will get that medicine so this helps in a more easier way and next is automated dispensing units this automatic dispensing units are generally like uh, have you seen in uh, various malls or various stores there are atm type of uh, atm type of machines in which you when you put money uh, sufficient amount for any pepsi or any chocolate Uh, when you put the amount it will automatically dispense the uh, the required item for you that is uh, it is for a various items it is uh, one of the atm types so like that it is automatic dispensing unit those that is the medications are stored in a calibrated cabinet that is the medicines are stored in the cabinet and when you put the uh, put the name of the medicine and the number of medicines you require let like, 10 tablets or 4 tablets it will uh, in unit base it will dispense you the number of medicines so it will generally proceed with proper packaging and labeling of the medication also so there are basically three types in which 
one is the pharmacy base that is it will be it can be kept in any pharmacy that is pharmacy outlet also and in the normal hospital uh, hospital pharmacy section also then ward based in the ward and then the last one that is unit that uh, that is it will give you counted number of medications the number of medicines this can be kept in any uh, any of the location in the hospital also in pharmacy outlet also in ward also that will just dispense the unit that is number of medications the number of medications you require just that and it will be completed with lastly packaging and labeling of the medication so with this today's video is ending next we will talk about the patient monitoring system for the hindi explanation of this video which i just explained to you all for the hindi explanation you can just uh, go and watch that video uh, which i will add in my description box the link will be given in the description box for the hindi explanation also for notes of this video which you have just uh, just understood now and which you just watched that part that is today's video's part for that if you want the notes i will add the link of my blog in the description box where you can go and get your notes so uh, for more videos you can go and check my channel hope that you have found my video useful if yes then don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications thanks for watching and bye bye